what is the slope of the line described by the 3y minus 4x plus 5 equals 0 equation? Cool. All right. Those are pretty common. What's the name of this form? Is there one? Uh, it's close to standard form, but standard it's, form you got to move the five over. If you move the five over, it would be standard right. form. Yeah. So, um, really quick, we have a couple different forms you write in. We do point slope form. We do um, standard form. What we're going to focus on today is slope intercept form. So a lot of times my students ask me, like, why do we have to learn all these different ways if they all mean the same thing? Um, what I'm doing is right now is I'm going to convert this equation into, I'm not going to draw an arrow, that might be confusing. I'm going to convert this equation into slope-intercept form. Um, and then we can talk a little bit about why your teachers show you these different forms aside from just wanting to make you learn different ways of writing it. Mm -hmm. um, so a slope-intercept form is this form, y equals mx plus b. Um, so we have a couple components to that. We, if you remember what these values mean, this is my y-intercept, and this is my slope, that little m there. So we need our equation to basically look like this. Um, and if you look at it, one thing that should stand out, um, this can sometimes be a little bit confusing when you're first learning it. But what you should notice is this y is all by itself. It's not adding or subtracting anything, or it's not being added to or subtracted from. Uh, it's not being multiplied by anything. So ultimately what we're trying to do is solve for y in terms of x. So here's how we do that. All we do is think we want to keep this y by itself. So let's move everything else out of the way. So I'm going to get rid of this on this side, and I'm going to move it over here, the same way we always kind of solve equations here. Uh, and I rewrite everything. Um, you notice I rewrite literally everything even when I'm like very confident in what I'm doing uh, because I've done it a lot. I just do it because I don't like making little mistakes. Mm -hmm. And that happens a lot when you do, no matter how good you are at mental math, the little mistakes happen. Um, maybe you get distracted, maybe it's just a lot more than you thought but it's very easy to make those mistakes. So I'm not only doing this for you guys, I always do this anyway. Um, so now I'm gonna add 4x on each side. Um, again, I'm just trying to go step by step and get that y by itself. So this cancels out because negative 4x plus 4x is zero. Uh, I'm rewriting 3y, that's all that's left over here, equals. And then here, be careful, remember you cannot combine these. Um, this has an x, this does not. So we're going to kind of just leave it and say oh, 4x minus 5. Um, sometimes students ask if they can do negative 5 plus 4x, mm -hmm. which is fine. Um, but why not just put it in the order you're going to put it yeah. in, in the end? Because we're trying to get it in slope-intercept form. You may notice that yeah. with that mx plus b, you got your x term first. So yeah. make right. it as close to that as you can. Yeah, it's just one less thing to do in the end. What is happening here? Okay, that's just not. You're just cr it doesn't scratching want to be there. it out. It likes yeah. to erase it if you scratch out. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So now I now I learned something new about <laughs> how to use a pen. All right. So now we're still getting this y by itself. Um, we're dividing by three. This is all going to be divided by three, and I think a lot of times this is where the most common mistake is. So let's get to that in a second. But these are going to cancel out. Y equals four x minus five divided by three. We need to split this up. So the way we're going to split it up is just really, maybe you have a good way of explaining this, but we're just kind of breaking this fraction up into two pieces. Mm -hmm. we're um, dividing all of our terms by 3. Yeah. So we're going to say y equals 4 over 3 times x minus 5 over 3. And then we were looking for the slope. So literally all you're doing is here we said that m is my slope. Well, think about what is in place of m here, because because there's no m left. Well, that is this four thirds. So our slope is four over three. Um, and kind of going back to what we talked about at the beginning, 
the reason why we do a slope intercept form. If I look at this equation that was written, uh, this doesn't have a name, right? Uh, no. It's not it's, standard, it's not point slope. It's just so, a linear equation. Yeah, if you just left it in that form and somebody asked you to find the slope, you have to do all this math. So this is why we write, typically, for the most part, write equations of a line in slope intercept form. Mm -hmm. uh, because you can quickly pull out the y-intercept and you can quickly pull out the slope by just glancing at it. Like I look at this equation, I already know that the y-intercept is negative 5 over 3, and I know that every time we increase x by 1, we're going to go up 4 and write 3 without having to do anything else. Yeah, Makes oh, it exactly. Much um, that also kind of goes to say uh, point slope form, which you know we won't talk about too much. But the whole idea it's it's in the name, point right. slope form. You can look at very easily and see one of the points, and you can also see easily what the slope is. Yeah. So the names are also the big clues. I know those definitely. I'm just remembering back when I was learning about this, it was confusing. Slope right. intercept, point <laughs> slope form. What's the difference? They all look the same. It's it's all in the name. Yeah, so. I think. Mathematicians, especially the people who came up with this stuff, are very creative, the fact they're mm -hmm. able to see this stuff. But then when it came down to naming them, they were not creative. They mm -hmm. were like, oh, what do we have in here? Slope and intercept? How about slope intercept form? That sounds good. Great idea. Yeah, it so works. keep that in mind. Use that to your advantage anytime you see these, uh, these terms or forms. Very true.